Mitsubishi's easy and super select four-wheel drive systems have been around for many years, and with the release of the MQ Triton in 2015, these systems have received an upgrade in some areas while retaining some features of the previous model. This edition of Tech Tips proudly brought to you by the new Our Auto Diagnostic Tool, the essential motor tech companion. The MQ Triton four-wheel drive system has two variants, the Easy Select and Super Select 2, which has a locking centre differential. The driver can select the range via a mode switch on the centre console. You can quickly tell the difference between the two systems by how many positions you have on the mode switch. Easy Select has three and Super Select has four. One of the main changes from the four-wheel drive systems used in the ML and the MN Tritons is the introduction of an electrically controlled actuator mounted at the rear of the transfer case to shift the ranges. The front freewheel system is a carryover from the previous generation Triton and uses a vacuum actuator on the front axle to lock the axles for four-wheel drive. This actuator is controlled by two vacuum solenoids mounted on the firewall. This system shares similar problems with the previous models with vacuum hoses coming off or leaking. However, the addition of the actuator at the rear of the transfer case can add new issues if not maintained. The actuator has a breather hose mounted on top, which is only pressed on. This hose has been known to be damaged or come off, which may allow water to enter the actuator during river crossings. If water enters, this may trigger various fault codes and prevent the system from shifting. This actuator can't be removed without splitting the transfer case. If you are servicing these vehicles, it is recommended to check the breather hose for correct fitment and damage. For diagnostic information and wiring diagrams for the MQ Triton four-wheel drive system, see the June 2024 issue of VACC's Tech Talk magazine. Log on to VACC Motor Tech or call VACC's Tech Advisory Service.